Hey guys, welcome to my Venus Do Sign series. This is for Venus in Leo. Uh, so if in your birth chart, Venus is in the sign of Leo, these messages are for you. Uh, this can also apply if you have Leo as your seventh house. Um, so remember these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do give you some clarity. Um, and this is for the month of August, 2019. I don't know if I said that already. Okay, so we have uh, the central issue, Heart of the Matter, as the Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Empress, we have the Hermit, Hanged Man, the Fool, Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so... With the central issue here, I feel that someone feels rejected or something is coming off as unrequited. One person being attracted to the other person while the other is not. Um, maybe someone put a love offering in and now it's just like, I haven't heard anything. I don't think they're attracted or, you know, it, there's something that is lacking here. If you're in a relationship already, it still is coming off as maybe your needs are not being met. Something's going on where is there's this feeling of like, uh, I can't tell them or I can't say this. I'm just going to suffer in silence. Um, but it has something to do with either desires or attraction. Um, something that is coming off a little unbalanced. Now, also could be something in regards to one person wanting to have a baby and the other person is not ready to. But I feel like if you're in a relationship, you guys aren't on the same page about something. Um, if you're completely single, I feel also that you maybe just feel ignored or rejected because you have taken time out to make yourself look good. Uh, you are coming off as available, but nobody's paying attention to you. Yet at the same time, you're like, I'm not going to pursue anybody or chasing anybody. They need to be coming to me, but nobody's coming to you. It's just like you're being passed up or, you know, and it's just like, why are people passing me up? Or like, even if you are talking to people, it's like it's not going anywhere. And it's just like, why is this happening? Um... I feel like some of you, even if you're tired of being single and waiting for your ship to come in, uh, during this time, just continue to do your soul searching. Know that it's not you. Um, and also the person coming towards you, I have to remind people all the time now that even if you feel that you're spiritually ready, the person coming towards you, maybe they're not ready. So it's about you just being patient until you guys are on the same page or vibrating on the same frequency. So in the meantime, regardless, this is a time for soul searching. This And you, you never really stop soul searching. Like there's always something to learn about yourself. Um, so you're going into hermit mode and you're isolating yourself. Maybe you're learning a new form of meditation. Um, you're trying to find ways to not focus so hard on the fact that maybe you're single or it's something that you're waiting for. Like you're really trying not to think about it. Um, I also feel like you're learning how to surrender to every phase that you go through. You might come to the realization that in order to have love, there's something that you need to give up or sacrifice. Maybe there's something that you've been holding on to, a certain uh, idea that you had, some sort of idealism that you had about uh, love and relationships that you were holding on to. And maybe you're realizing, you know what, maybe I need to let something go. Or, you know, maybe I haven't been seeing this like I should be. So you are having some sort of a moment of clarity or awakening. And I do see you kind of just letting go and saying, you know what, I just can't continue to wait for this to happen or that to happen. And the minute you do let go and turn away, like the minute you truly surrender is when some sort of offering comes in 
or something is proven to you or something actually manifests that you have been waiting for. Um, I don't know what it is that you're waiting for here, but it, it's like it all of a sudden it happens and there it is. Maybe there is an earth sign coming towards you, towards Capricorn Virgo. Or maybe it's just someone who is showing that they are ready for something serious. Um, maybe you start to look at people for um, practical reasons, relationships for practical uh, reasons as opposed to physical appearance. Um, I just kind of feel like it's something that you're understanding about yourself that helps you realize what you need to let go of. And I also feel like if you are waiting for a specific person that at some point you're like, you know what, I don't even need them anymore. I don't want it or no thank you. In the minute you say that, that's when this new opportunity comes about, whether it's from the person that you were waiting for or someone new. Something or someone comes into the picture. You could be thinking about a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. You're being asked to have patience in your situation because you are going to have fulfillment. There is some sort of wish or dream that will come true. I feel like some of you are, maybe you were holding on by a thread to a relationship. You're like, you know what? We need to get married. If we're not going to get married, you know, I might as well kiss this relationship goodbye. And it could be a situation where someone is feeling pressured into asking you for marriage or something like it's still pressure here if that's your situation. Maybe they don't really want that. Maybe you're dealing with someone who is a free spirit and doesn't like labels and likes to come and go as they please. And you're just kind of fed up with that. But the minute you kind of say, you know what, I'm letting go, I'm moving on, is when they come back around talking about, okay, uh, let's compromise. But at the same time, I still don't like that because it looks like they feel as if they're being manipulated or pressured into doing something that they aren't ready for. I also feel that you, you're getting what you asked for, something that you wanted or needed you're receiving and it brings you some sort of peace of mind and it, it gives you some sort of emotional emotional peace if you felt like something was unfair in a relationship i feel like maybe now someone is stepping up to the plate or doing something that they needed to do i feel like maybe pressure needed to be put on someone in order to see some sort of results or get some sort of Response. Maybe it was a situation too where um, someone was being unfair when it comes to household obligations and duties and, you know, helping out with uh, bills and, you know, things of that sort. And so, you know, maybe something had to be done to get this person to start contributing more. Like whatever you did, maybe it worked because I also see someone getting a silent treatment too. And someone saying, I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, this could be a, a silent protest, you know? So for instance, if someone was refusing to wash the dishes and you were like, I'm the only one that washes the dishes, it's not fair. Maybe one day you just decided, you know what? I'm not washing dishes anymore and let me see if they notice. It's like, okay, I get the picture. I get the message. Let me go ahead and chip in. So I feel like if that is your scenario, then someone will be chipping in and helping out in the home. Now, those of you that are uh, single, I feel that you keep thinking about somebody and you haven't been able to get someone out of your mind. It's like you're still daydreaming about them or maybe even having literal dreams about this person. Um, it's like you're trying your best not to think about them, but you still do it. Maybe some of you are trying to manifest or use your imagination to bring love into your life. I feel like you are going to have a moment of fulfillment and happiness, but it could be temporary. 
everyone's story is going to play out different though but it could be it could be temporary or maybe long lasting here um i'm also seeing something in regards to like extending the family i feel like someone is caving in like the empress she is like a spoiled princess and you know maybe her partner has told her no about something no we can't do this no we can't do that maybe it's even about just getting a dog or something and so something happened maybe whatever you did made them cave in they're like okay fine i'll give you what you want this is what you want here are you happy now type of energy so somebody might resort to playing mind mind games to get what they want Hmm. Something someone said to you really makes you think about your actions. Hmm. So now I got a weird situation where you could be dealing with someone that is in a relationship and you are the other woman you feel rejected on the outside because they they had to spend time with their family but it's like you know you you knew what you got into i don't mean to fuss at you those of you that are in this situation but it's like you knew what you were getting into so you're feeling like you don't pay any ten attention to me you keep spending time with um the wife and kids and it's just like yeah because they're my wife and kids um, or, you know, if you're a man watching and it's reversed, you know, just whatever the case, I feel like if you are the other man or the other woman, you know, you have to understand that this person does have a family. If you don't like that type of life, then you got to get out of it. You can't, you can't sit around and wait for someone to commit to you. You know, if you're wanting a commitment, then you have to find someone who is available. You might keep wondering why do you keep falling for people who are unavailable. Um, I do feel like you are ignoring at some point something happens and I think what it is is that you're getting offers for relationships but you are refusing offers because your heart is still tied up to someone who's unavailable. So then you become emotionally unavailable for the people that actually can be with you. There's a lot that you really need to think about. You are needing to reassess your priorities, your life. I feel like you are like, who have I become? What am I getting into? You know, what what is causing me to get in these type of situations? I just need to reevaluate. So I see you guys are definitely reevaluating your lives. Um, maybe you even decide to put love on a back burner and focus on your finances or focus on your health or, you know, maybe try to pick up some new hobby so you don't think about what you can't have. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to get. The A lot of these messages are going to somebody who is the other man or woman. I feel that your anxieties kind of start getting the best of you. Like you are realizing that you do have abandonment issues or trust issues, mommy issues or daddy issues. Like you're thinking about your past. Like I remember my, my father, he wasn't there for me or my mom, she was cold towards me. This is, you know, you're, you're still healing and you need to understand it and realize it instead of trying to escape or find other things to preoccupy your time. It's like you really need to to deal with this and stop trying to run from it or pretend like this pain doesn't exist within you. I do feel like if you are um, a Leo too, a Leo with Venus and Leo, something happens where you get your mojo back over uh, all of a sudden you become courageous and um, you start believing in yourself again. Um, or maybe it's, a, it's someone else that comes towards you that inspires you to get back out there to start dating again. 
Um, if this is a situation where you're in a relationship but your partner has been ignoring you, I feel like somebody's going to start flirting with the other person to fulfill some sort of void. It's like, well, my partner doesn't pay attention to me, so I'm having fun with this person. But that is, is that's not good either. I feel like you guys really need to heal. You all need to do some inner work. Your emotions are clouding your judgment a lot. You've got some sort of triggers, some sort of anxiety triggers going on with you. Someone also could have um, lost your trust in the past and, and you have a hard time opening up to somebody or opening up to people in general. Maybe you're realizing that you do have these trust issues. You still have a lot of baggage. Um, you're like, you know what, let me take a time out before I invest my time and energy into someone else because I'm not healed yet. So I think some of you are realizing that, yeah, you do have some more work to do. And you can't f fill it, you know, with just flirting or, you know, empty sexual relationships. It's like, I can't do that anymore. All right, so I hope this helps Venus and Leo. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.